Hello everybody, my name is Uber and I welcome back in Darksiders 3. And last episode we had a lot of fun in Crucible. That is, I had a lot of fun and a lot of dying in Crucible. And you probably watched that. And well, what can I say? It was weird. In if we compare that to Darksiders 2, so the only other Darksiders game that had Crucible, then I had that feeling that, hello, uh, that, well, this game is harder, that's for sure, right? Uh, this game is a lot harder than Darksiders 2 or Darksiders 1, that's for sure. But in Darksiders 1 and Darksiders 2, I felt the power of those characters, of death and war. I felt like I am, you know, playing as the, the great horseman of Apocalypse and so on. And in Darksiders 3, you don't really feel that. You feel like you are just a normal character that is, well, trying to survive in this world. You are not almighty horseman that can destroy everyone. And that is really, really weird. Oh, well, enough of that. Uh, I bet the Crucible, but in... When I, because I was really annoyed by that, because it was so annoying, really, because you can only go in in those stages, right? You, first you're going through wave 1 to wave 25, after that you're unlocking wave 26, and you can go to wave 50, right? Then you've got the next stage that is wave 51 to wave 75, and then from 76 you're going to 100. And that's great, because you can, you know, you don't have to go from the beginning, from wave 1, if you, for example, are demated to wave 75, and so on. But still, it was so annoying, because there were those shitty little enemies that were attacking you and dealing you quite a lot of damage, even if you are dodging their attacks. That was very annoying. And then, at wave 100, you've got that clone of Abraxas, let's, let's just put it this way, that as soon as he spawns, he can kill you in few hits and that's it and it doesn't matter if you will dodge his attacks or not really you've got to be so precise about that that I'm just not sure how I should should have done that so that's why I said through that I just want to see what is at the at the end of the crucible uh, so that I can continue recording normal episodes right because that took me three days Something like that, of course, not like, like 24 hours and so on. I spent about five, four, five hours, something like that on that. So that was quite annoying, you might have, uh, as you might have known from watching me play. Yeah, that was quite annoying, but enough of that. Screw it, uh, we are going for the pride. So the last thing that we've got to catch. And, well, I already know what will happen after that, but... You will see. If you haven't watched uh, Darksiders 3 yet, so I think that you will have a big surprise. But screw that, let's just go. Uh, yep. Okay. And uh, incomplete boss encounters. What do you mean by that? We don't have any incomplete boss encounters. We destroyed all the scenes. We destroyed Abraxis. We saved Lord of Hollows. Well, weird. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Okie dokie, we've got loading screen. That's great. Exactly what I wanted. And in the meantime, when I was going through the Crucible... Oh, that's cool. When I was going to the Crucible, I changed my controller. So that one is a little bit less clicky. So I hope that uh, that will be a good change for this series. But for right now, let's go for Pride. Holy shit, that is big tower. Oh, that is cool. Okie dokie, let's see. Uh, how hard will be that fight? Because I guess not that hard if we killed Abraxis and... I went through the crucible and so on. Well, hello, hello, look at that. Okay, we've got our Havoc phone, we've got 
Nephra for one attack. We've got six Nephra in respite. We also have that Undying Shard, so maybe let's use that. And I mean, let's just go with that. Let's go. Confidence suits you. When earned, yes. You are proud. See, I never understood why pride was considered a deadly sin. The power you feel now after having completed an arduous task. Isn't it empowering? You've shown great promise. Done exceptional work. Don't you deserve something for it? Perhaps. But not from you. Before you make a tragic mistake, I'd like to make you an offer. You've seen the world. You've seen the state it's in. You're smart enough to know that someone somewhere has lied to you. There is no plan. There is no balance. It's all lies. But imagine if it were true. Imagine if you, and I, truly set out to give the world a direction. Order. Isn't that your true purpose? We could be the force for balance the world deserves. We could be greatness. At one time, that speech might have worked on me. But that was when I did not understand how ugly pride could be. Thank you for your generous offer, but if this world is to be fixed, neither of us will be the ones to do it. Oh yeah. Okay, okay let's see that attack. Well. Well, okay, that might be interesting. Shit. Okie dokie. No nice. Beautiful. So we need to act with counter attacks to break that bubble. Well, fuck you. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Now that is bubble time. Nice. What the hell is that? Well, come on, attack me. Nice. Beautiful. Well, that wasn't it. Nice. Beautiful. Let's go. Okay, okay, nice. Nothing will accomplish your whole miserable life to compare to that which I have built. You have been to touch me, vile thing. What the hell? Nice, nice, another one, let me go, let's go, okay, look, it's not that hard, really. okay, look, let's go, okay, look, come on, the laser went straight for you, oh, come on, okay, look, shit, Okie dokie, nice. Oh, come on. Nice, so let's go. Okay, look, that wasn't enough. Okie dokie. Shit. Let's go for the film despite. Okay, come on. Oh, that's it. Okay, but so we don't need counter attack, we just need to attack her enough times and that's it. Probably do enough damage. Or something like that. Okay, that can resolve that. Nice. Okay, then keep beautiful. Nice, so let's go, beautiful. Yeah, so let's go. We are finishing her. Holy shit. 
I was expecting a little more. Did you speak to the Lord of the Hollows? He knew. He too was proud. Tell me about the Council. Your so-called masters are infected with pride. They serve no balance. Who do you think released the Seven from our prison? What purpose do we serve without humanity to corrupt? Tell me my words do not ring true. You cannot deny the pride that still resides within you, can you? Enough empty flattery! Tell me everything. <laughs> You already know everything, mistress. The great irony here is that for once, your enemy is right. You should feel pride, but you do not. You only feel fear. Fear that you came this close to greatness, only to fall. See? Your counsel betrays you. Oh, shit. <sighs> Watcher! Always so pretty. I used to be so jealous of you, sister. Envy! Well, shit. No! The Charred Council set you up. They want us all dead. All seven sins and the horsemen. No! Oh, but I, I knew better. <laughs> jealousy, and jealousy. I took the form of a trusted servant, and you... Horseman became both my sword and my ship. Well, shit. Uh, with the other sins out of the way, I will destroy the charred council once and for all. Only then will the earth. Finally be mine! <laughs> Pride goeth before the fall! <laughs> a bit on the nose, but the message is clear! Well, shit. That was unexpected twist, right? <laughs> That's a very interesting plot twist, god damn it. But still there is a big question, who we fought in the beginning as Envy? You snore. Maybe it's a broken nose. Well. Looks like you've been busy. 
Doing what, I have no idea, other than getting your ass handed to you. <sighs> Who are you, human? Just speak to me like this. Oh, I'm just another refugee. Like you. But I'm not strong enough to defend the balance. That's your purpose. I... have learned... that I am weak. Well, maybe now you finally understand how all humans feel. Pulled into a war they never asked for. Left to their own devices against forces they cannot possibly understand or effectively fight. All of humanity has been betrayed. And yet, they still fight on. What about you? I strayed from the path. I have been jealous. I have been wrathful. I have been lazy. Ugh, worse and more. All the things the seven sins stand for, and I have paid dearly for it. So in other words, you have lived. Yes. Good then. You're finally alive. And with life, there is always hope. Hope? I was humbled in my battle with Envy. No doubt she's on her way to destroy the Chard Council, even as we speak. And I remain stranded on Earth, so when you speak of hope, human, I cannot concur. All hope is lost. <laughs> no. Haven is built on hope. Come, speak to Ulthane. You'll see. Well, shit, let's go, let's talk with them. Oh, baby, that might be interesting. All time, let's talk. Why did they help me? That's uh, kind of what humans do. And the fact that you send more than a few survivors our way didn't hurt. All for naught. We didn't pull you from the rubble to quit now. Envy holds the power of the Seven. Your betrayal can be seen on your face. Left for dead like some useless discarded thing. But it is not over. Here, take it. A gift from the Lord of Hollows. Deserves to be in stronger hands than mine. You know not what you offer, Horseman. You cannot be serious. It's important. Clearly, I'm not worthy. Don't you want it? This was not meant for me. The Lord of Hollows knew whom he was choosing. His faith will not be questioned. Not by me, anyway. <sighs> what? This milestone should be acknowledged. If you won't do it, I'll do so for you. A reflecting pool? Aye, with a few adjustments. But it's only meant for you. It will only take you to your heart's desire. I desire only to finish what the Council began. Find your resolve, Horseman. It's all you have now. And it is what you need if you're to stop envy and unseat your former masters. Okie dokie, so, I mean, let's go? Let's just go, I guess. Or maybe do we want to buy one Nephilim Respite from Vorglim? I think that we have enough health for that. Maybe let's see if we'll talk to us about something. What would you 
would you ask of this humble merchant? Take your time. Nope. Uh, let's see. I would like to buy her furniture. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, and that's enough. We've got five Nephilim respite, and that should be plenty enough, right? Let's see. We'll fight with sin that holds the power of all seven sins. And a little bit from us. But I do wonder what type of power she grabbed from us. Because we have the power of the hollows, right? We've got our upgraded weapons, health, and so on. We don't have talisman, that's for sure. Well, screw it, let's just go in. Let's see what will happen. Ooh. Nice. Interesting. That was fast. Okay. <laughs> You've been so long watching and judging that you've forgotten how to fight! You dare attack this holy sanctum! I do! I dare! Because no one else ever has! And that makes this easy. Sweet! You haughty sons of whores have had this coming for eons! And you have no one but yourselves to thank for it! Your lust for power will be your undoing envy! Well, isn't that the pot calling a kettle black? When I'm done here and you're nothing left but pebbles, I will simply wait out the apocalypse and destroy whatever weakened generals remain. The Earth will be mine. Nope. It's over, Envy. You have failed. Kill her, horseman. We command. Oh, shut up! You command nothing but my scorn, and you will know my fury soon enough. Press for me, trip. Yield or die, Envy. <laughs> Seriously? No, but it was worth a shot. Okay, okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Let's go. Okay, but... Nice. Let's go. What is important to note about her character is that she resembles the... Whoa, that was interesting. She resembles the traits of all the horsemen. That is quite interesting. Oh shit. Nice, nice, very beautiful. Okay, okay, let's go with our favorite form. Let's go, nice. She resembles all the dress from all the horse in the room. The body is like fuel. And the uh, uh, sword, okay, we got sides like that. And you've got pistols like Stripe. Let's go. Okay, look here, let's go with uh, Tornadoes. I have learned about... What the hell? Nope, nope. I have learned about this beautiful attack when I was going to control them. And yeah, that was quite useful. Let's go. Oh shit. Let's go with the film describe. Okay, okay. Nice. Get on! 
The only thing that we killed. Because the previous ones we just broke and then, you know, catch him with talisman. But that one we killed, I guess. All the power. It seem you have finally accomplished your task, Fury. Perhaps you should be rewarded. But perhaps not. Envy may have caught us unawares, but we have more than enough power to deal with an insect like you. You have overstepped your bounds, horseman. You shall be punished, along with your brothers, like the impudent child you are! No! I will not die like this! I will not allow your No. <laughs> no. I don't think it was made for you. Besides, feels pretty good. Such arrogance! Such gall! No, that would be pride! This is truth! And the truth is, this can destroy you! You'll never find out, wretch! Well, that was seen grenade. So now we are getting out. Beautiful. That was quite an interesting fight, but also quite a lot of consequences of that action. Nice. Unity is key. But to move forward from here, we must move as one. Uh, you won't make it. The Council. Enraged. No doubt fueling the attack on Haven in secret. If you have a plan for them. The time is now. Heaven, Hell, the Chard Council. They wish to see them annihilated. You know this, but perhaps you don't know the reason. Even before the apocalypse, why were your lives so hard? Because you were created for a great purpose and left unprotected. So those who fear you have set out to destroy you with false promises and wars and sin that they blame on you. They all fear you. That fear can be used against them. Humanity can win this war! Look around you. 
This is what's left of humanity, and we are in no shape to fight a war on the scale you suggest. No. You must hide. From the eyes of heaven and hell! The Council? That's exactly what must be done. But what humanity needs more than a good hidey hole is a protector. A protector? Destroyer is here. Let the armies of hell eliminate all that is human. Once and for all, we shall raise this planet. Let me fight you. I can defeat him, no problem. That is so cool. Powers in my possession to protect humanity, and one day we will set things right together. Uthain, my brother, War, is an innocent in this drama. If you ever find an opportunity to assist him in any way, I would ask you to do so. I will. Thank you, Maker. May our future be one of justice. Aye. Safe travels, horseman. Look what will happen right now. That's it for this game. And well, what can I tell you? It was a good game. It is a good game. If you haven't played that, then I strongly suggest to do so. But before, make sure that you that you played Dark Siders 1 and Dark Siders 2, so that you will have a full perspective of what happened, what is cool, what is not, and so on. So that you have uh, not only the understanding of whole history of those games, but also you have points of comparison to those different games, right? Now, well, that ending was pretty, pretty good. So, yeah, we already knew that before, that these games happening before Darksiders 1, 
for the main part of Darksiders 1, right? And I think that is happening after Darksiders 2, but I might be wrong about it. Mm, screw it. Uh, but yeah, it is giving us quite a lot of room for Darksiders 1. It is giving us a lot of uh, plot points. Like, for example, why Ulta is helping us, right? As war in Darksiders 1. Why we can fast travel uh, as a war in Darksiders 1 using Serpent Holes? Because we cleared them in DLC, Keepers of the Void, right? Oh, god damn it. Also, we know a lot about Strife right now. Well, not a lot. We know that he likes to help human and humans and he protected them with Ulte, right? Yeah, there are a few points that those games are not exactly adding up, right? For example, why Ulte never told, uh, told War that he met Fury, right? Or uh, that was a very weird thing in Darksiders 2, because in Darksiders 1 you have Well of Souls, in Darksiders 2 you have Well of Souls. And they seem like completely two different things, but screw it, right? But yeah, so right now uh, I should in theory play Darksiders Gen Genesis, but I don't own that yet, and I'm waiting for a good sale on that. And Darksiders Genesis is happening before Darksiders 1 even begins, right? So that is not Darksiders 4 that we all wanted, because I would assume that Darksiders 4 would even be only solo adventure of strife or united game uh, where, game where all the horsemen unite and are destroying for, for sure chart council demons and angels I guess but well we, we assume we assume that it, it will happen right as in Darksiders 1 at the end war is breaking the final seal and it's calling all the horsemen to the earth to probably destroy quite a lot of people, right? Or not, uh, not exactly people, uh, powerful beings. But imagine what would happen. Uh, well, that is, that is my dream, but I'm, I'm sure that that will not happen. Imagine if four horsemen were told by the creator to destroy everything so that the world can have a fresh start. Imagine them uh, jumping from one, wo one world to another, destroying everything in their way, uh, to the point that there is nothing else left, and creator have, has to uh, has the well fresh um, blank uh, wall to paint on the world and so on. That might be cool, but that will not happen. Let's let's face it, right? If there will be a game that will feature all four horsemen. That will probably only consist of the Strange Chart Council. There will probably be some minor boss fights before and so on, but probably that will be it, right? But I do wonder, because the game the games were presenting Chart Council as very powerful beings, right? But when they were fighting with Envy, they were like shooting fireballs. And then later when they were trying to fight Fury, but that didn't work out. Well, they were using flamethrowers, magic flamethrowers. They were supposed to be powerful beings, what the hell? And I don't think that they are just those stone statues, right? There are something inside those statues. Their true form or something like that. Because Lord of Hollows was in Chart Council, I do think that he looks, they look kind of like him, something like that. But speaking of Lord of Hollows, there is this weird ant artifact that he gave us, right? And we don't know what that is. Ultime wasn't wasn't trying even to take that from us as 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 Fury proposed him that. He thought that it was too powerful, but goddammit, he could have tell us what that is, right? That would be cool. But no, we don't know that yet. But well in every Darksiders game, mm, the horsemen are changing quite a lot. For example, War changed quite a lot in Darksiders 1. In Darksiders 2, uh, Death was going through quite a lot of, well, thinking about. Uh, because he had to choose between saving humanity. Oh, shit. I think that mouse cursor out of the way. 
silence the traitor. No matter. The young one remains unaware of the power she possesses. The Council will deliberate this turn, and they will send war to Earth. A mistake. The final seal will be broken, and I will revel in the chaos. You may go. Well, hello Lilith. Uh, what is Armageddon 1? What the hell is Armageddon 1? Okay, finishing what I started to talk about. Uh, what I was even talking about. A very powerful artifact that we don't know what that is really. I think that was it. Uh, but it has the power to destroy Council. And right now we learned that in Dark Siders 4, probably, we'll also meet Lucifer and take him out. Uh, what he told about the, the young one, uh, he he was of course talking about Fury, but in in the horsemen they are well different ages, right? Uh, so the Fury is the youngest one, and Death I believe is the the oldest from all of them, something like that. Uh, it doesn't matter what is Armageddon one. Let's go with balanced. Get out of here, mouse cursor. We can just continue. What? Why did the creator construct a universe teeming with imperfection? I'm just starting from the beginning. Screw that. Screw that. Screw that. Uh, so that is just new game plus, right? But I do wonder if we'll keep all the stuff that we, that we, we had before. Yep. We kept all the stuff that we had before. Okie dokie, so that might be worth checking out. And we have still Rider's Mercy. We don't have Hollows, that's, that's for sure, right? Well, we have them, but we don't have them active. I do wonder if they count as active enhancements that are equipped to the holes that we don't have right now. But yeah, we don't have relics. I do wonder if when we'll bring humans to Ultane, will he upgrade that amulet even, even more? Well, I guess I will find out when I will be playing alone. But yeah, with that we'll end this episode. It's a little bit shorter than, the, than usual. But goddammit, it was packed full of fighting and uh, exploring quite a lot of lore in this universe. Getting quite a lot of information about what happened and what will happen, probably. We'll see. But yeah, that will be it for this episode. I would like to thank you all for watching. If you haven't seen Darius this 1 and 2, I already played all of them. So you can check them out. I will try to leave links in the video description. And after that, I don't know what we'll do the next game. I thought about going through God of War through all of the games. But I feel like we might, to do, we might want to do something else before that. I will see. But enough of that. I would like to thank you all for watching and of course see you in the next one. Bye bye.